Hi everyone, welcome to OSUIT. Today we're going live from the School of Arts, Sciences, and Health to show you our culinary arts program. Before I turn things over to Chef Perryman, please know that if you have any questions during this live tour, just put them down in the comment box and we will answer them while we're live. If you're seeing this after the live stream, go ahead and put your questions and we'll get to them as soon as we can. If you have any friends or family members that you think would be interested in our culinary arts program, go ahead and tag them in the comments and we will reach out to them and get them some more information. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn things over to Chef Perryman. Hi, good morning guys. Thanks for joining us on Facebook. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a virtual tour, kind of a lay of the land of everything that we do here at OSUIT. Um, kind of show you all our kitchens. We're starting here on our tech line. So our tech line is like our regular restaurant line that we use to serve the public about three times a week. Um, so uh, it gets the students that, that feel of working in a restaurant, how to operate on the line, um, that real kitchen experience. So, um, so as we go through the kitchen, like I said, if you guys have any questions, just uh, text them on the comment bar below there and we'll answer your questions as you, if you have any questions as we're going. And we'll kind of walk through the kitchens, okay? So. All right, so we're gonna go from the tech line, we're gonna go over to the international kitchen. So this is our international and American regional kitchen. We'll also do breakfast out of this classroom. Um, so it's a very modular kitchen, so we can set it up for several different kinds of classes. So it's not set up just to do one style of cooking. Uh, in this class, we have a lot more modern techniques we use um, induction cookers, we have a freeze dryer, we've got a rotary evaporator, um, it's a little more high-tech science equipment that we use um, here in the kitchen, as well as your regular stoves, ovens, pots and pans, and things like that. So, uh, so this will operate, usually our classes are going to be operating uh, about 12 students, uh, 12 to 14 students is our uh, max for our classes, so we kind of try and keep the ratio of students to teachers low, especially in a working kitchen when you get a lot of people going and cooking in here it can get really busy and really loud and, uh, and exciting so all right so we're gonna walk over to the buffet kitchen just right next door all right so our buffet kitchen it's a little bit larger you know all these are joined together as one big kitchen uh, in buffet uh, we're gonna learn large quantity cooking, so we do a buffet twice a week. Uh, we can serve anywhere from 120 up to 200 guests. Um, and so we'll go different aspects of doing buffets, doing carving stations, um, how to prepare vegetables and uh, meats and stuff for buffets, um, how to prepare, how to order, um, how to make sure it looks fresh, uh, make sure it looks good, make sure it tastes good, things like that. So uh, we'll have some of the larger equipment. You can see we've got a large grill, uh, large tilt skillets, uh, large double walk station for doing large stir fries. That's really fun to get on uh, when you get those flip. <coughs> excuse me, as you get those flipping, it's really fun to get on the walks. So, okay. All right, we're gonna walk over to our skills kitchen. So this is our skills kitchen, so it's one of our large kitchens. This is the first kitchen you're going to come into uh, when you come to school here. So in this class you're going to learn all your basics, basic safety and sanitation, basic knife skills, uh, soup making, uh, stock making, uh, how to cook vegetables, how to cook starches. Um, then you'll get into doing meat fabrication, so you'll learn how to break down chickens and fish and basic operations and cooking methods whenever we're talking about proteins. So, uh, so it's a little bit larger classroom uh, set up in, in lab stations so students can work in small teams so they learn how to work together uh, as a small team, how to coordinate each other, how to uh, check each other, and so how to communicate as a team. So uh, this is our skills, skills kitchen. Okay. So we'll go next into Gar Manger. kitchen so garmanger is cold food so cold food is going to be salads appetizers 
Um, students also learn how to make cheese in this class. They learn how to cure meats in this class. So they'll make bacon, they'll make pastrami, they'll make prosciutto, they'll make sausage in this class. They learn different styles of sausage making in this class as well. Uh, so all aspects of uh, cold production and uh, meat, meat uh, fabrication and meat curing and processing and things like that in this class. Okay. All right, so we're going to move over into the bakery. our bakery. Uh, this is my classroom, so this is my favorite classroom. Bakery is usually the favorite, so um, those are my, my classes go. Um, so we do a basic baking class. Uh, we also offer 18 specialized credit hours just in pastry for those students that want to pursue a, a degree in pastry as well, uh, which is really nice. Our program's two-year program, so it's an a AAS degree. Uh, and then after that, you can transfer to Stillwater, get your bachelor's degree or another college if you wanted to. Uh, but then you can also, along with the culinary arts degree, you can stay on and get an extra emphasis on your degree as pastry as well if you want to do that. So, um, But we'll do all aspects of pastry in here from cookies, pies, tarts, cakes, ice cream, custards, wedding cakes, chocolates, uh, laminated doughs, croissants, artisan breads, things like that. So uh, we try and teach as much aspects as we can to get the students a well-rounded education. So, uh, We also do a showpieces class and we'll work our way around to the front. You can see some of the students' showpiece work, uh, which is always fun to see. It's kind of a highlight. Uh, people like to come in and see the, the artwork that the students do. So, so we'll kind of walk through and see some of the showpiece work. So you can see some of the big equipment we have. We have a big dough sheeter. So this is for doing large pieces of dough. Those fold down. And so we can roll dough through there uh, and do large amounts of Danish and croissant dough. It's really nice um, for that. Uh, we also have specialized chocolate equipment in here, blast freezer, ice cream maker, uh, special bread making equipment in here um, as well. So <clears throat> this class is fun. We'll get two classes going in here at once, one on either side. So we'll have 24 students in here and, it's, it's fun, it's crazy, so. see a lot as starting to come back into fashion. Tallow is a mixture of wax, um, beeswax, paraffin wax, and rendered beef fat. Uh, you can also add cocoa to it to make it look like chocolate, modeling chocolate. So, uh, But we'll go through aspects of design, um, how to work with it, how to temper chocolate, um, how to manipulate it, make it look shiny, make it look matte, um, how to put color in chocolate, things like that. So, um, so it's our art class. So um, students really have a good time. It's great to see how they uh, are creative and they can create different things um, out of these different mediums that you normally think of as food. So, okay. So that's the basic little quick tour that we did here at OSU IT Culinary Arts. So uh, if you're interested, um, contact us on, on our website um, and then we can like give you more information if you need to know anything about um, a more inclusive tour or uh, costs or any kind of information that you're going to need. Okay? What, um, we have a question. What kind of jobs do students go, what are their opportunities as soon as they graduate from the program? Um, our placement rate or our job rate is close to 95%, so most all of our graduates are going to have a job before they graduate. Um, restaurants, hotels, um, casinos. Uh, bakeries, uh, pastry shops, you see them all over. They're all over Oklahoma, <coughs> excuse me, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, uh, Norman, Edmond, 
uh, up by Miami, all the casinos. Uh, we, have, we hire a lot of our students uh, do our casinos as well as restaurant groups in Oklahoma City and Tulsa. Uh, we also have students that go out of state to do internships as well as work. So everywhere from each coast, from California to uh, Virginia to Florida to overseas, we've had them go to France, go to Ireland, uh, go to Spain. So uh, we've had international students as well. So. Um, do students have any special admissions requirements that they have to have in order to get into the program? Um, obviously you have to have a high school diploma mm -hmm. and then you just have to meet the uh, entrance requirements for the university. So. Um, said thank you for coming on this virtual tour we hope to see you down here at OSUIT uh, in the future we will be open sometime so we'll see you then <laughs> thanks guys uh, make sure you like the friends of P on Facebook and on Instagram we do have more live program tours coming up uh, so that's it for today if you have any questions leave them in the comments and we'll get back to you uh, remember to be true to you and go folks <laughs>